Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Napoli, and welcome to this edition of Napoli Health Update. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how you can significantly reduce your risk of cervical cancer, especially if you've been diagnosed with HPV or human papillomavirus. So stay right there, we'll be back. Well, first off, I think I'll give you guys a little chuckle. This is the second time we've had to shoot this whole video topic uh, because we had some uh, technical difficulties last time. I had to get, that's why there's a little bigger gap between this and the last ones. Hopefully we'll be back on schedule. But um, got a new camera, got a cool new lavalier mic and some new lighting. And um, I learned the hard way that when you're videotaping with a lavalier mic, you have to turn the mic on. So yeah, we got a lot of video with uh, no sound. If any, any of you uh, know how to do closed captioning, then we got some good video. Otherwise, uh, that's why I'm shooting this again. <laughs> so um, anyway, today we're gonna talk about, it is a serious topic. Seven, according to the Centers for Disease Control, uh, HPV, or human papillomavirus, is the most common sexually transmitted disease. Uh, they estimate that as much as 75 to 80% of all sexually active adults will contract uh, will contract HPV at some point in their lives. Now most, there's a number of different strains, most strains of HPV virus will be cleared by the body on its own. Um, just goes away, many times people don't even know they have it. But there are some strains that the body cannot clear and unfortunately they can lead to a significant increase in risk of cervical cancer. Um, they believe now up to 75% of all cervical cancers are related to HPV infection. So that's the bad news. The good news is there's something you can do to significantly reduce the impact of uh, the risk of cervical cancer if you've been diagnosed with HPV. Um, and it's a fairly simple thing. There's a, a supplement you can take called curcumin. Now curcumin is an extract of the spice turmeric. Turmeric is what is the spice that makes uh, curry yellow. It makes lemon, lemon. No, it doesn't make lemon yellow. It makes mustard yellow. And um, I don't think it has much of a taste, but it has a lot of color. However, there's a lot of health benefits to curcumin. Curcumin has been found to be a very potent antioxidant, a very, very potent anti-inflammatory, and more importantly, a very effective uh, cancer preventative. All right? it, it prevents, it's been shown to prevent now a number of different cancers. Um, but here we're talking about a recent research in the International Journal of Cancer and the uh, International Journal of Cell Biology, Cell Biochemistry, I'm sorry. Um, turns out that curcumin prevents the HPV virus from making the genetic changes, it produces a protein that, get, that cause genetic changes in the cells of the cervix that can then promote cancer. Uh, this, so curcumin blocks that. It, it doesn't only do that though. It seems to block cancer on a number of different fronts, which makes, which makes it that much more effective. It blocks cancer by preventing tumor cell growth, by preventing its ability to infiltrate tissue and metastasize, by actually causing the cells to die off sooner. That's called apoptosis in technical terms. Uh, and that's a good thing. We want, we want cancer cells to die. Um, so it's a very significant thing. I've even seen a study where it was shown to help reduce the growth of uterine fibroids. Um, now the thing about curcumin, is that it's a very safe spice to take, a uh, safe uh, uh, supplement to take. Curcumin is not very well absorbed though. So if you just take the extract of turmeric, which is called curcumin, and just take that by itself in a capsule, um, the body doesn't absorb it very well. I have one made for me at the office. It's called uh, 7X Curcumin Complex that's absorbed seven times better than regular curcumin. Uh, so you can, the effective dose of that to get the benefit would be one a day, that's 400 milligrams, all right? Uh, if you're taking standard curcumin, um, you're gonna have to take seven pills a day to get the same benefit. Uh, but it's some remarkable research. The cool thing is curcumin does a number of other things. You'll be hearing about this. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be talking more about this because it's been shown to, to help prevent Alzheimer's and uh, other cancers, as well as to improve um, uh, arthritis, all right? Significantly reduce inflammation in the body. Um, so we'll talk about that on another topic, but for now, if you have been diagnosed uh, with HPV, uh, it's very important that I would strongly recommend taking this once a day. Uh, it has another, another 
a whole host of other benefits with it. All right, so thanks for watching. Until next time, God bless. Be well.